In 1938, when Carver was 74, he was diagnosed with pernicious anemia and was hospitalized for almost a year. As soon as he could, he returned to experiments in his laboratory, preparing his legacy in the Carver Museum at Tuskegee and establishing the George Washington Carver Foundation to carry on his work with needy farmers. George Washington Carver died January 5, 1943, at around age 78, and is buried on the Tuskegee campus near Booker T. Washington. He could have added fortune to fame, his epitaph reads, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. I was in uh, the desert in North Africa, and it was all murder, the distinguished announcer was broadcasting from London. He said, Dr. George Washington Carver, the distinguished scientist in America, died today. Uh, it was sad, it was very sad news to me. And so, that was the last of Dr. Carver. 75 years after his death, the world still looks to Carver for inspiration. Students continue to report on his life, and thousands of people still visit the places that honor him. His is a legacy that defies time. In 1941, he opened all of his artwork to the public. He put on a big exhibition, and there had been nothing up to that time. All of his works from Simpson College and a few since then. And people were stunned at the fact that this great agricultural expert, chemist, botanist, et cetera, et cetera, was also an artist. A good friend of his who was working, writing articles, she asked him that question, Bess Walcott. She said, how have you been able to do many things? And he said, would it surprise you if I told you I have only been doing one thing? And he said, Tennyson, Alfred Lord Tennyson, the English poet, was working at the same job. And he, he, he picked up a little plant, tiny plant in his hand with the roots still on it and soil clinging to the roots. And he quoted Tennyson, flower in the crannied wall, I pluck you out of the crannies. I hold you here, root and all in my hand, little flower, but if I could understand what you are, root and all and all in all, I should know what God and man is. And this really was the core of Carver's thinking. He said Tennyson was seeking truth. That's what the artist is seeking, that's what the scientist is seeking, and that's what I've been doing all my life. 